Hey, so I wanted to show you the process of making my Maleficent horns and wings. I think this is my first DIY on this channel. This is also the first Halloween where I decided to actually put in major effort and dress up in costume. So here's a list of the materials I used for the horns. Aluminum foil and black PVC tape available at your local supermarket. A headband from Carrefour Village Market. Cotton thread and super glue, both of which I got from Educate Yourself at Westgate. Studio acrylics, high viscosity black paint from Textbook Center. And some tissue. I started by molding the aluminum foil into the shape of my horns. Using a reference picture from Pinterest and also a second pair of eyes. My sister was very helpful giving me suggestions on the size. I would recommend you wear some gloves to protect your hands from cuts. Once you're satisfied with the shape and size of the horns, start to wrap them with a cotton thread. Use some super glue at the pointy tips of the horn to hold one end of thread in place. Be very careful with super glue. It can ruin your fabrics and all. Then what I did next is add on a layer of tissue using Fevicol all-purpose glue mixed with a little water. This glue, I also got it from textbook center. You don't really have to mix the glue with water though. I think. So my sister was working on a wand for her costume uh, using the same process with the glue and tissue so I'll just use that as an example. You'll, uh, just whatever she does on her wand is what I did on my hand. are my horns after the tissue glue layer and after painting the horns black. Once they dry, I worked on the headband, ripped out the fabric, then wrapped the black tape around the headband. Lastly, I glued the horns to the headband. Horns aside, well, kinda, this is how I created my awesome wings. Starting off with a list of things that I used. Studio Acrylics High Viscosity Black Paint, Super Glue, Fevico All Purpose Glue, Paper Plates from, well, your local supermarket, Crepe Paper, mmm, crepes, uh, yeah, Crap paper from textbook center. I cut the paper plates into desired shapes. Then I painted the pieces black. I'm so sorry I didn't film that. After I put them out to dry, as you can see. <laughs> Once 
once everything dried, I tried using all poppers glue to stick the pieces of the wings together. However, super glue turned out to be much better at this stage. This is where the crepe paper comes in. I used it as the feathers to my wings by cutting it as shown in this video. Okay then, I glued the paper pieces to their like wings, skeleton wings, I don't know. Oh, and I also found a uh, use for their small uh, pieces, crab pieces. So like I just fill up the parts where the skeleton or whatever was uncovered and... Yeah, this is how my wings ended up looking after a lot of work. Glued them down with the um, all-purpose glue. <laughs> 